right today we're out for a bit of a mudlark not just a normal mudlark but a wet oh, muddy so soggy cold. freezing freezing cold mudlark yeah now we're only using small cameras today yes. because this is the second time out since I got out of hospital. I don't like to keep mentioning it. No, um, just every week. Just uh, so this is not going to give a countdown of how many days it's been. <laughs> but it was rough, but I got through it in the end. Uh, I know you're <laughs> asking. But anyway, so we're out for a bit of a lark. Yeah. Um, so we've not been here, like we've not been out anywhere in here for a long time. Yeah. So we're on small cameras today, no yeah. big cameras, just so... Which any... I think it's going to be quite freeing. Yeah, it's be a, it means we can chill, chill out a bit and do a bit of filming. If you want to yeah. see any full detailed stuff, you'll have to tune into the live and that yeah. comes on after this video. Anyway, so let's have a look around and yeah. uh, we're on the uh, favourite old bottle dump. Apple dump. Apple dump. Yeah. We've not been here for quite a few months. I think Charlotte mm. was the last time we was here. Was yeah, m- probably. Months, months yeah. So um, anyway, let's have a look around see what we can find. I don't know if you remember a few months ago that apple dump, our favourite dump, was levelled off and we thought, oh no, oh no, that's it, it's finished, it's gone, we'll never get back in here again. And since then we've been in about four times uh, and found things every single time because it's only the front bit that's been levelled off, the rest of it is still active and um, I don't know if Mick has already shown you, but there's new holes in places where we haven't seen holes before, so it's promising, but it's been raining, it's been raining heavily. So this is a place where you scour across the top and you find the little gems um, revealed by the rain. Um, so yeah, we will go to the holes. There's lots of, oh, I can see loads of big holes up there. Should we scour the surface for little gems or should we go to the holes first? Oh, I don't know. Don't know. Lots of, lots of new holes because we've not been for quite a while. I think the, the diggers have been very, very busy. So come on, let's go and have a look. There's lots of holes and busyness going on over there over there and over there let's go well here you go you can see it's still leveled off here nobody's come out here to dig anything here but over here they have this is a good sign so uh always nice to see a nice new hole to start the day off with let's have a look and see what awaits for us in this lovely new hole if you spy anything uh, do give us a shout out. We'll um let's see, oh, that's a nice little plate there, look. Very nice, isn't it? Nice new hole here. Right, okay. I didn't bother searching up on the top here, it's loads of leaves and stuff. Um and why why should I when there's a fresh fresh new sorry? Loads of holes over there, right. Loads of fresh new holes. I'll give this one a bit of a look and see if we can see anything in here. But fresh new holes, thank you diggers, we appreciate it, broken bottle. What's that one with a bit of writing on it? That's a Scots emulsion. Got to remember I've not got the big camera, so anything with detail, you can't really see so much. But I'm just having a quick look for gems. Mick says there's loads of holes going on over there. What's that? Oh, swing top stopper. Let's see if it's a plain one or not. Just a plain one. That's okay, that's a little keeper. Let's see what else we've got down here. Little, what's that little jar there? Oh, we always have a, a fresh spoil heap. Okay, it's got a big crack down it. Just an ink. It's nice enough, but it's got a bit of a crack on it. Little bottles as per usual. Burst lip, little tiny bottles. Let me put that down a second. Put it there. Oh, little milk glass jars. Yes, absolutely. They're not, oh, it's got a slight bit of a label on it. Oh, look at that. Oh, what, what a shame I can't read it. Can't read it, but yes, there's actually two of the same there, and I am making candles with these. I might have mentioned it before. So, yep. Two milk glass jars, both the same. No idea what would have been in them, but they're a nice shape and make a nice candle. So let me just create a little pile here. Got a little pile going on there. I'll just have a quick squeeze round. Oops, very soft. Freshly dug. Let's check the slates now. Just a roof slate. Oh, tiny little bottle there. Little dinky one. There's so many new bottles been thrown out. Oh, look at that little tiny one. 
those are always a super find let's just see the other side of that plate is okay all these bottles that stopper in it no what's that sauce don't forget i'm not keeping jam pots absolutely no need to keep jam pots anymore oh look at that with the bird on oh definitely keep that for ripple finds i've got a nice pile going on i still haven't given it to him but that i like that i absolutely love that little bird on there keep that one Right, let's just pop that, pop these two onto my little pile here. Hopefully I don't forget them. Okay, little pile of goodies going on there. Little gems would be nice. But we'll, uh, we'll keep searching, see what we find. Yep, that's great. An amber bottle, that's great for potion. Don't spend too much time on that because... I found quite a few of those. Oh, looks like it could be a good stand there. One second. Let's pop this over here. I've only got one bag, so um, I can always get rid of um, bits that I've already found before. Plenty of. Right, stand. This looks like it could be a great stand. Oh, look at that. What a shame. Like a lustre glass but yeah I'd, unfortunately I would have to knock that off doesn't matter it's broken anyway I might knock it off before I take it home just because it'll take up a lot in my bag but that is a keeper for a stand for some sort of craft project as you know you know me my projects and stands and things anything at all that I make I just stick a stand underneath it you know did it with jam pots I've done it with bottles scenes anything and everything it just just elevate it with the stand i don't know it just adds a another dimension to it doesn't it that's for those that watch the crafts i know not everybody watches the crafts probably about half the people watch the crafts okay what else have we got here that little jar down there mm. that would have been perfect for the christmas gnomes oh she's that another one of those oh it's another one with a label on though Ooh, what's get rid of that spider something violet violet oh what's that then oh i wonder if we could let that dry out and just sort of dust the soil off it oh i like that something violet Ooh, i don't know i like it might be a milk glass kind of day today right just let me put that there and put that there just need to undo my coat because i can't actually can't bend down with my coat fastened which is makes things quite awful when your job is to bend down and pick things up okay one sec let's get that done there you go right okay so for now i'm going to stick that on oh look there's two of those little jars they'd have been perfect they'd have been perfect for them gnomes oh i keep them only brought one bag right let me just stick these in the other pile because otherwise I'll have, I'll have about four different piles everywhere and I'll never know where I've left anything okay pile pile don't forget I only got one bag there are loads of holes here since we've really been here that's what I like to see plenty of bottles Someone's been busy around here. Busy, busy, busy. And that must be a nice little find for me, I think. Ugh, if it's broken. Oh, it's broken, that's a shame. Look, broken on that side. Would have been a lovely little find, that. What a shame. What a shame. Anyway, I'll show it to Sarah. Show, sorry, sorry. show it to Sarah. Have a problem, yes, is. Yeah, all sorts of goodies on the floor here. Looks like gems. It's a nice jar, that one. So we've got no uh, big cameras today, so 
anything that's really interesting we're not going to get great detail of what we find but we'll find stuff it smells of oil here over here was all them apples hundreds of them if you recall Sarah tried tasting one here but um look there's holes all over the place there now holes over there there's holes over there holes down here some over the back there but we'll have a good look around see what we can find Ooh, now that looks like something i haven't found in quite a while actually look at that pipe bowl not found a pipe bowl in what seems like ages is it just a plain one oh no it's a i wonder if something like that with my glove gloved hand dublin dublin one but yeah i haven't found funny i was thinking about that this morning how haven't found a pipe bowl in absolutely ages and there you go pipe bowl okay so that is definitely a keeper i'll pop that in my pocket because that's a little gem isn't it so i'll pop that in there and let's carry on have a little quick look around here before then still on the first hole still on the first new hole just turning over a few things just in case i did start off with my gloves on but uh i couldn't turn the camera off <laughs> did it once and i couldn't turn it off right I'm just going to carry on having a look around this little bit here. Oops, a couple of things I've made there, a little jug, that's a little beauty and a stopper. Right, I'm going to add them to my pile and then I'm going to put them in my bag before I forget this pile and wander off yeah, looking for other things. Sorry? All the holes over there where that apple, we all them apples are there. You oh yeah, apple. yeah. It's all holes over there. Ah, oh, right, okay. Well, I'll work my way over to it, work my way over to it and see what gems can find. I'm just going to put my first lot of stuff into my bag. Right, I'm not sure if that looks like the back of a doll's head or not. It might be, it might not be, but I didn't want to approach it without you. What I saw was that bit at the top there. Oh, and it is, it is, it is. Well, it's the side. It's the side of a doll's face. Just make sure there's no eyes behind it, that it's just mud. Right, no, I think the eyes, the eyes are long gone. I don't know about the teeth. Teeth. Oh, we've not really got the mouth. So we've got an eye, we've got an ear, a side of a face, and you know that's one of my favourite things to find. So that is a, a super little find. Oops, I thought that was a paint pan. It's not. That is a little gem. I'm sure I saw another bit of a face somewhere, but I've turned my head round and I've, I've lost it again now. But there you go. There you go. A lovely half of a doll's face. A lovely little find that I will use in some sort of craft. Oh, that looks like a little aqua ink there see that's a nice one that's much better than the first one that i found which was a plain one a lovely little aqua one i will keep that one and um, some nice bottles here what we've got not nice but um what sitted ones embossed ones can't think of the word world's famous blood mixture okay world's famous i'm not quite sure it's known around the world but it claims to be that's the Oh no, this S, oh something, ST and lung mixture. Yeah, it's a clear one. Had it been aqua, I probably would have took it. I've got plenty of bottles for me in Boston Craft now, so I don't need to be quite so picky up about those. Right, so yeah, that one I definitely will keep. Right, I'm going to jump down into here, and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my usual thing of stopping and looking and seeing if there's any beads and bits and pieces like that. And if there are, I shall bring you back and I've got to try not to touch it, okay, so we can discover it together. A bit like that doll's head. I will have another look because I did think I saw another bit of a doll's head. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a scour and I'll get back to you if I see something that's worthy of us looking at together. Ooh, just spotted this. Just as I put my bag down. But I'm thinking for ribble finds, just cut out that centre circle. As you know, um, pottery is not my thing, but I have got quite a collection going on now for Steve from uh, Ribble Finds. So he's uh, um, the one that cuts out all good pottery. So there you go, you can have that one. I should carry on or get started on my little look round here. Just spotted this on the floor. I wasn't sure if it was something or nothing, so... Oh, Ooh, hang on a minute, what's that? Oh, okay, I like that. It looks like a military guy, doesn't it? But I'm not going to say that he is, definitely. 
of some sort of figure. Very thin though, that is really thin. But I like that. It's not a doll's face, it's a man's face, but hmm, quite like that. I still haven't made it down to have a look in there. I've just <laughs> wandered across the top because things keep catching my eye. But yeah, that's that's gonna be a keeper, that the little side of a man's face. Right, okay, I'm definitely gonna have a look now. Um that is going in my pocket for safekeeping because it's only thin. If I put that in my bag, it'll just smash. Right, I'm definitely going down there now. I can see something down there, so I'll, I'll head towards that. Okay, I think the white thing is just a jar. Just a milk glass jar, but it might be a different shape. Ooh. Oh, it's quite nice. Oh, it's a nice one, that. I like that. It's got a very, very um, tall screw-on bit, hasn't it? That's going would have had a really chunky lid, probably. Like, real, quite thick as well. A lovely, deep bit for a label there. I don't know if you can see how deep that is. I've just swapped cameras uh, with Mick. Actually, I've got I've got the better, the newer camera. My camera was having trouble turning off and on. But there you go, should be a little bit better detail. Lovely. Wait, is that something on it? Oh, hang on, has it got writing on it? Oh, it has, it has, it has. Oh, what does that say? Mm. Ven Venusa. Oh, it's a Venusa. Right, okay. A milk glass Venusa. That's a definite keeper. So I'm just below my bag, so I can just pop that in my bag there. Nothing. A little bit of nothing. Right, I'm going to have a look. I'm definitely going to have a look now. I'm down here, so I shall bring you back if I find anything. There's a hell of a lot going on here. I've been totally dug since the last time we were here. I've been dug so much. But where's them gems? It's them gems we're looking for. Plenty of holes over here. Plenty of holes. Maybe there's something down there, so have a look. Oh. Yeah, some feet of some sort. Oh I'll leave that there. So I can decide if you want that. Some bits there. Some lovely little little bottles there. Oh yes. I hope you're enjoying the video if so make sure that you've hit that like button because that really helps the channel not just this channel every channel that you look at always make sure you hit that like button because it just shows YouTube that you're enjoying the content and also check that your subscribes are on because YouTube turns them off to see if you go back and turn them back on again they're just testing you out uh, so make sure that's turned on and also check your notifications because they turn that off as well not just on our channel but everybody's channel YouTube does that to everyone just to make sure you're watching even the bigger channels check them as well otherwise let's go over and see what Sarah's up to I do believe I do believe we have something here not touched it oh god I just made it worse <laughs> hang on let me get my gloves on it Ah, uh, let me tell you what, wipe my fingers on my trousers. Sorry. I'm going to say that is a bead. <laughs> Can't clean it because my hands are filthy. There it is, it's a bead. There you go, the end of the bead. Green bead. I need to pop that in a little bag, which I have got in the bottom of this bag here. I need to put that lovely green bead. It works, it works. You just stand still and really have a good look. It really does work. Green bead found going in my bag. As I can see, a bottle with embossing and a lid. Okay, lid is a little bit different colour wise. And another lid there. Another lid there. That's just stood in one place. Not seen any more beads about the place. But it's not for one to look in. Right, let's start with this one. What is this one? This one is Dutton, C Dutton's. Oh, so it's chest. Chest and lung mixture. Okay, that's a nice bottle, but you know, not for me, I've got 10 million. Oh, busted, what a shame. Totally busted lid, not for us. Thought it was a blue bead then. There you go, a lid for existing jam pots that I have already. That is acceptable, that will go on top of jam pots. So that is an acceptable find, what's that? Oh, that's the top of a, some sort of little mini vase or something like that. 
Right, okay, then there's a lid over here by the look of it. This looks like a lid. Oh, it's busted. Too, way too busted. Way too busted, that. What's that? Is that something that's broken? Broken. Right, shoe. Don't need you. Lid, we'll take you from that other jars. Oh, what's that on there? What was that? Oh, oh what a shame. What a pity. That squirrely round one is busted. Okay, let's look. There's so much more to look at there. I want to try and be methodical. If I can, oh, don't forget my lid. Get my lid. Take that, and we'll go on to the next hole now. Okay, right. I've got, oh gosh, there's, oh, there's lots to look at up here, isn't there? Blow me neck. Right, I've got to be methodical. I'm going to start on this side, and then I'll go over to there. So, oh, we're over there as well, and over there. Wow, we really have been gone for a long time, haven't we? Right, let's start with this one because this one looks like a square one, is it? Oh, it is a square one, and I do like a square aqua bottle. So yeah, although I'm not really taking many bottles, I will take that one. I do like a square aqua bottle. No idea what would have been in it, but it's a nice bottle. So since we're next to the bag, we'll keep that. I won't keep that one, whatever it is, because it's... Oh! Oh, right, okay. All the new stuff is up this end here. Oh, right, it looked like it had been freshly dug down there. No, it hasn't been touched down here at all. It was just that big hole we that last time there. Yeah. Right. Right, so come on, we'll, that looks like could be a cat but it's green so maybe not right so let's carry on doing our methodical look over here it looks ouch so that's a branch whacking me in the face i don't know why that looked like it could have been a cat i think it probably was a cat just because those ears probably was a cat but well far gone now what's that what, oh, what was that oh some sort of figurine has a little foot Big jar, right? Okay, let's not pick up everything we see. <laughs> let's get up here. You might as well stay with me. It's a bit of an adventure together, isn't it? Okay, what's that really thin? What's well, a very thin bottle? That one, what's it got in it? Oh, roots. I thought it had hair in it then. I thought it was a creepy bottle full of hair. Right, the nice bottles, thin bottles. What's that bit of a chain on it? Bit of rusty chain, too rusty. Don't think it's leading to anything exciting. Tablespoons, as always. Lots of tablespoons. What have we got here? Sauces, usual. I'm going to have a stop and look, see if we can see any beads and some, uh, some such things. Nope, I can't see anything. Lid is broken. Don't, what's that? Is that a shell? Or a, oh, is it a marble? Is it a marble? Oh, it is a marble. It is. Has it got a pattern on it? Ooh, I think it might be a deck. Is it decorated? Oh no, I don't know. It might just be grotty. Oh, I don't know. It's a marble. That is a lovely, lovely gem of a find. That's what we're after. These little gems here. Not so much the bottles. Nice amber bottle there that I will be taking though. I don't have that one for my crafts, but look at that. I can't figure out. No, I don't think it's patterned. I just think the glaze has took on the colour of rust or whatever it was next to but a lovely glazed oh, is it a bead hang on oh hang on why has it got that there and then that there maybe it's just the way it was lay hang on hang on i don't know i think it's still a marble i think it just happens to have that's solid right that's a marble lovely glazed marble super little keeper Right, yeah, so that amber bottle will do what for my crafts. If I can just get underneath this tree without being speared in the head, which would be good, I could do that. Right, this one here, if it's full, don't want it if it's broken. That one, that one is perfect for the amber crafts. Absolutely perfect. Ridges on it. Probably, oh, I don't know, what would it have on it? In it, Lysol or something, I don't know. It's like Woolly. It says Woolly Manchester W. Double O L L E Y Woolly Manchester. Hmm, don't know. Look it up and see what that is, I suppose. But yeah, that is a, a keeper, an amber bottle. I have a feeling I'm going to have to be very, very frugal about what I keep <laughs> on here. Right, there you go, it's in my bag. Oh, honestly, it's so exciting when you come to one of your dumps and they've been dug. Oh, God. So exciting because you, you know you're going to find some nice little things, don't you, when, when it's been freshly dug. So yeah, it's, all, it's very, I can just see holes behind me, it's great. And I know there's holes over that way as well. 
but Mick was saying there's none further deep into, not yet anyway. But yeah, the, the diggers have been working hard. They've been doing a great job. And we're always very grateful for whoever comes and digs um, these dumps for us. Well, not for us, don't dig them for us. <laughs> they dig them for themselves, but you know, it's, it's really nice when we come and they've dug them because it just means we've got fresh stuff to look at. So I've just jumped down here and just saw this little pot here. Oh, it's a little one. It's got a little chip in it there. I wouldn't take it anyway, but we'll save it by putting it up there because somebody else might see it before it gets covered over. Right, and I should continue looking. Oh, look at that. Little dog. Little dog staring at us like a mantelpiece figure, wasn't it? Back in the day, I would have definitely kept that. What's that? Is that glass lid? Oh, no, it's pot lid. Is it pot? Yeah, stoneware. Is that it's blue or something there, doesn't it? Hmm, how odd. I have got lids like that and they don't fit anything, so I haven't kept it. Another one of those. Oh, flask thing. Oh, cream pot. Oh. oh, jam pot. Testing every ounce of my willpower. Oh, gosh, it's full. It's a mid size. And I'm going to leave it there. My willpower knows that in my house, I don't have room for this. Okay, save it there for the next person behind us, like we do. There's always somebody else popping around. But yeah, I'm not going to sneak it into my bag either. Definitely going to leave it there. What we've got here? Sauce bottles. What's that? Oh, glass rod. That's a blue glass rod with something round it. Oh. Hmm. Why would it have metal on it? Don't know, but I like glass rods. So, yes, that is a keeper. Like some flasks here. Sometimes they have embossing on. Nope. What's that chunky one there? What's that one? Oh, it's got a stopper in it. It's got one of those metal and cork stoppers in it. We'll try and get it out now, but I like it. I like it. A little stumpy square thing with the metal stopper and a load of liquid in it. Condensation from 100 years of being in the ground, probably. But yeah, you know, I'm thinking, oh, look, baby bird. There you go, a little bit of nature. <laughs> so I think we'll keep that. I quite like the look of that one, a little bit different. And the blue rod. I don't know what that is, something ceramic. Those bottles, not really appealing to me. Let's have a look who's further along. You never know. Oh, is that a bit of a doll's face? It's, oh, only a bit, only a little bit. Little, a few little broken shards. Maybe we'll find an ear. Right, okay, little stubby bottles. We don't, we don't collect these. I'm sure someone will be around to get those. They're nice little beer bottles. Oh, what's that one? What is that one? That's a weird shape, isn't it? Oh, to Toddy, C. Wright and Son, work, works, worth, works worth, London and Leith, London and Leith, Toddy. Oh, that's an unusual one. Way too big for me. I'm sure someone's saying, keep it, keep it, keep it. It's an amazing big bottle. It is an amazing bottle. It's got the embossing. Don't talk anymore. Oh. Supper. Thank you very much. Is that the gardens? No, that's different. That would look nice with lights in, but I'll never clean it, so forget it. Don't, don't even be tempted. Nice little stopper there that's popped out of something. What's this? <clears throat> oh, they're the J and B Dewsbury. Nice bottles. Right, we've got a couple here that stand a chance. That's Castle Brand. You know that one. What's this one? What is this one? Lawrence Chemist Peel. Lawrence Chemist Peel. Right, if I can get that cack out, I'll take that one because I've never seen that before. Let's just see if I can get some of this cack. I'm just going to put that stopper in my pocket because you know me. I'll put it down and forget about it. Right, one stopper in pocket. Can we get cack out of there? Yes, we can. That one. Is a keeper because I have never heard of it before. I certainly don't have it, obviously, if I've never heard of it before. Lawrence Chemist at Peel. Yeah, right, okay, we need, we need a pile. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Can you count one thing as a pile? Bovril, lots of bovrils there. Nice, nice little selection going on there of bovrils. That little amber, definitely. So we'll have the amber in that one and that amber as well. That's a good size, not too big. But still big enough. OK, 
Okay, what's this bottle here? Don't know, it's got a stopper in it. I'll leave that for somebody who wants the bottle with the stopper in it. Okay, we've got some, we've got viral. We've got poison, oh, Pura, sorry, Puro. Puro bottles, I've got loads of those, I'm gonna leave it. Oh, what's that? Tyne, something Tyne. Oh, I like that because of the label. Tempted because of the label of that one. Don't forget, th these are the ones that get discarded um, when I've got too many in my bag. Milk bottles, oh gosh, there's so much. They've really had a good dig here, haven't they? Oh, oh them bit, I'm glad I don't collect milk bottles now, so. Big milk bottles, I'm not gonna touch them, not gonna. There's another one of them bottles. Oh, has it got a lid? No, it's not, I won't keep it. If it had its lid, matching, it'd be nice to do something in matching pairs. Right, I'm just gonna pop these in my bag and I'm gonna carry on searching out. Oh, there's that pipe bowl. Hang on, oh, oh, pipe bowl. Oh, what a bonus, another pipe bowl. Something I've not found for what seems like ages. Is that a Dublin one, what is it? Dublin, a Dublin one, there you go, gems. Right, I've bagged, bagged them up now, so let's carry on with our little bit of a search. We've got to stop here, we'll have that, yes please. Viral, don't need, we've got one last week. Puro inks, let's save some of these for other people. Ooh, some suspicious liquid in the bottom of that one. That one, that one, that one, okay. We don't need to get greedy, lots of little bottles. Save them for somebody else. Yeah, what bottles have they got anything on them? No, nothing exciting. That's a weird one, that's quite quite wide neck for one of those bottles. Oh, broken, well, a stopper. That's a definite keeper from here, one sec. Let's see what that is. Oh, that's a wheel, like a train wheel. A lead train wheel, we'll definitely have that. We're like collecting toys, what's that? Oh, it's a broken bottle. I thought it was a gem. What's that, a lid? Oh. I've never found a use for the lids with no handles, so that can stay here. But two little gems, not doing bad. A melted bottle. <sighs> Did you use a melted bottle in the craft ones? Right, so that's keeper. What's this? Oh, we're doing a little tiny little teacup. Oh, no good. Right, there you go. A train wheel and a stopper. That will do for now. Oh, let's see what that is. Is that drawn up? Yes, it's a doorknob, we'll have that. Right, I'm just coming over here to this new bit here. Won't take the stopper out of that, because that's a nice bottle. It's a nice um, water, aero water bottle. I'll leave the stopper in that. I'm not that desperate for stoppers. Jam jar, full. Gonna leave it, not finding it a problem. Not finding it hard to do, what's that? Ooh, it's a a spine, a <laughs> spine off something. No, I don't think we need that. Nice little aqua bottle there. I love those inks, those little inks. They're great, but I have got lots already. So, don't need to have those. Oh, it's a little bit like a Skittle, doesn't it? Skittle bottle. Can we see anything on the surface? Any little gems? I'm just talking you through how I do this process. I look at the big things and looking a little bit further. A bit deeper. Right, can't see anything. Right, I shall carry on having a bit of a look. There's nothing super exciting on here, but I want to scour it just in case. What's that? Oh, that's a bit of melted glass. I thought it was a like one of those little glass animals. Just a bit of a blob of melted glass. Right, I shall carry on looking. I'm thinking I've seen a lot of these massive carbon battery rods. It must have been a, quite a big battery, but then I saw this shaped bottle here. I hope that's full. Oh, that's a full one because that is a different shape, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, it's got a star bottom as well. I don't know. Does that mean it was perfume? I don't know, but that is a nice shaped bottle. That's something unusual or something I definitely haven't had before. Now we're at the bottom with the star on. Nice broad shoulders and lots of lots of little sides on it. I think I'll keep that one. I think that might be a lens. And it is. Little lens just on the side there. Keeper. It's something bright yellow. It's probably a nothing, but I've had quite a few different things off this place, like beads, so just in case. No, it is a nothing. What's that thing there next to it? Ooh, don't know what that is. Ooh, don't know. Something horrible inside it. 
What is that? I don't know. Don't know. Something horrible. That yellow thing was a nothing, but it's always worth having a look because you never know. Don't dismiss it. Stay there. I'm not going to collect you. Oh, it's a real one as well. Right, ignore it. Okay, I'm not finding it difficult at the moment. <laughs> Honestly, if, you, if you're new to this channel, you think, what on earth is she going on about? I am a jam pot rescuer. I have taken hundreds of jam pots, all different sizes, and I just can't, I couldn't stop myself. But now I've found I've got, I'm overrun. I'm overrun with them in my house. I'm having to give them away. I can only do so many things with them. So I am going to leave them. I can pick them up later should I want to, but for the foreseeable future, I'm going to leave them because I just... Have you found something, Mick? Marble. Oh, I found a, I found a glazed marble. Oh, and a washer off a, one of those killer baby bottles. Yeah. They're super fine. Yeah, there's quite a few holes up there. Yeah, I'm just working my way through these ones here. So over there. The yeah, all the apples were here. Yeah, yeah. Where you tasting? Yes. Yeah, it is. How weird. It just changes. It just changes overnight, doesn't it? Well, over a few weeks. <laughs> right, I can't be looking, but yeah, Mick, two great little gems there. That's off a baby, um, a Victorian baby's feeding bottle, which used to kill the babies because they couldn't clean the tubes in them. Northern Mudlarks have done a video on that, so if you want to look that up there. Um, and a clay marble, super little find. Ooh, now, that looks like an interesting shaped milk glass. Not that one, that one, that looks interesting. Oh yeah, it's one of those ones I've had, I have had before, but as you know, I have given them all away, so I'm recollecting. So that shape is definitely a shape to keep. And sometimes you think, why are you repeating yourself by saying what they are? But we get new people all the time. I'm going to tell you that was a flat bit for a label there. And look, all them ridges and swirls around the outside edge. That is a nice little find, a nice little milk glass. Not that I've got two of those today already, so we don't need to get another one, do we? But yeah, that is definitely a keeper. The swirly, twirly milk glass. That was that there, just catching my eye. Broken cup. No kings and queens on it, because it would get, even if it was broken, I would keep it, but no, it's just a plain one. That is the only keeper in that little bit there. And Mick? Another marble. Another marble? Wow. Super, yeah. Always a nice little find, a marble. I'm just going to look at all these little bottles on here. <laughs> uh, so many. So many of these tall, thin ones. Wow. I'm going to take it there are some medical medical things but there's oh there's loads of them look that one's got some white in the bottom of it Ew. right oh gosh if you were a collector you'd be in your element here look at all those look even more there's more over there yeah i'm not going to keep those that's just a it's got cork in it oh, the rotten rotten cork but there you go nice little oh there we go no, that's handy because it's got the birds on it. Oh, it. Might be too big for me to take though this time, so I might leave it. Might leave it. Let's see if that's got any birds on it. No, just the rest of it. Right, okay. Just taking that. Gonna leave those. Oh no. Big aqua jar. Big aqua jar. Gosh. Oh, it's got a bottom. Always check for the bottom. I am gonna keep that. I love an aqua jar. Oh, I'm gonna keep it. Can't go wrong, I'm just making my way over here to where Mick is. Oh, I've got my bag, it's about to slip off my shoulder. Oops, sorry. Bag's about to slip off my shoulder. Oh, gosh, that's a bit, that bit slippy. <laughs> right, okay, I'm just coming over here. God, it's very slippy here. Ugh. Right, it's all the, all the plants rotting. That swirly thing? Yeah, oh. Oh, I just, oh, I thought that was the spoon then. I said, so you won't catch much with that spoon. Oh, right. Oh, I've got a bobbin, wooden bobbin with some wire on it. I like that. I'm going to stick that in my jar. Let me empty my jar first. That's better. Wooden bobbin. That might dry out nicer and the, the corroded wire might just ping off. Okay, let me go. Oh, that's. What's that? Is that for hair? Is that. It's either Bakelite or tortoise shell. And I think it's off like a hair clip. That is a lovely find. That is a, that is a beauty, that. Could even put that on a, on a hair clip once it's been cleaned and painted, maybe. I really like that. That's that's a great little one going there. But I'm going to put that in my pocket. Put that next to my bag. Be organised. Another aqua jar. 
yeah i'm sorry or maybe i swap my jam jars for my aqua jar obsession um what else is your my spoon there i'll get to that in a second let's just work our way through what we've got here i think what's that bottle so nothing what's that that's a, a lid that would have had a cork in it probably oops let's see what else we've got here what's that Ooh. it's a shame that's busted at that end if i kept it or something little bottles swing top stopper i didn't keep the other swing oh little cup didn't keep the other swing top stopper in the end i just just put it down i don't need it i don't do anything with them paste pots egg cups got loads of I'm trying to be good on certain things there we go worked over to the spoon nice grotty spoon I do the odd thing with the spoon with the grotty spoon craft wise but yeah a grotty a grotty spoon we'll keep that big bottles there we don't need to look at those there's an interesting cup over there i'll work my way over to that one um let's just pop these here next to my bag so i don't lose them right i'm gonna have work my way down there have a quick browse and bring you back if i see anything that is worthy of a show to you right this was a cup that i saw from over there i didn't know what the pattern was so i thought let's have a look i've got another one of those jars in it let's get that out oh it's horses little countryside scene there and a cows on the back cows on the back a little scene there not for me but it's always worth having a look isn't it a few cups here right these are way too big right, i'm just gonna have a scour on here let's see if we can see any sort of color of beads or anything like that stand alert stand alert yeah absolutely stand alert we will have that one don't need to wax lyrical too long on that you know what the, the score on those I'm just gonna leave it there for now i did see a little bottle i wanted to look at oh it's a screw top it's okay right oh let's have a look at this Ooh. oh that's a nice one lovely very white that it's stone isn't it it is a stoneware one it's very white very thick rolled edge great for my table Okay, it's great for my table, but it's not a must-have. So, that could be one of the ones that I could ditch should I find something a bit more exciting. But yes, let's pop that on my little pile. My new pile there. Okay. What have we got here? Oh, an aqua. A lovely early aqua jar. Now, that's had something rusty in it. We'll be able to get that out. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry aqua jar hmm i don't think i'll be able to get that rusty thing out of it which is a shame because that's a nice nice jar you can see jam pot there doesn't matter i'm not going to take it milk glass right let's have that jam pot here <clears throat> don't matter anyway because i wasn't going to take it but it's not full right slates that's house slate big bottles bob roll okay just having a little scour we don't want any of these none of these okay none of these ones here paste pots milk glass jar we've got a few i'm looking for some different shapes now right i'm gonna jump down here i'm gonna i say i'm gonna jump down here and have a look but i usually get sidetracked a little jar down there i'll jump down have a look at that and then i'm gonna just have a look for beads and such like first a nib there mick Oh, just walked past that bit to get to you, didn't so that's why. Oh, well done. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh, look at the colour on that, though. I wonder if that's silver. Design on it, yeah, well, that is. Wow. Can't read what it says, but why is it so clean? Freshly out of a pen? Do you think it's silver? Would silver look? No, no, silver wouldn't look quite so silver, would it? That is an amazing find. A nib? Wow. And you know what? I've actually got a pen at home that these nibs fit on. My, my dad had a couple and uh, so I've got them. So yeah, I can use that. I can use that. Have I got any ink? Probably buy it if you haven't. There you go, nib. Ah, that's an that's a absolute gem from Mick that. That is going in my pocket for sure. I think that's a cork. Let's have a look. You may think it's odd, but I do use them in my potion bottles. It, they dry out quite nicely actually. As long as you don't mess with them till they're dry. They're all right, so yeah, I'll use, I'll uh, save that one, a cork. Ooh, what's that? Oh, 
some sort of skull. Oh my god. Oh, a skull. At one point, I did save a skull, and I thought oh, I'll clean it and bleach it, and I couldn't stand to look at it. <laughs> Once I put it in a bucket of water, it went a bit slimy, so I left it and well, threw it, threw it away. Yeah, I thought, I thought my idea was actually better than the reality of what was going on there with that. But there, there you go, a cork. Simple find, but useful nonetheless. I'd have a look at the back side of this mound that just goes into the, the, I don't know, undergrowth, whatever you call it. And that looks like it's tumbled right out down here, down this slope here. Tumble, tumble, landed there. Hopefully it's a full one, because I've not found one in ages. And it is octagonal, lovely aqua. And let's have a look. Very bubbly glass ink bottle. And having just found that nib and finding that, that is quite appropriate but yeah always look on the mounds on the other side because some things just tumble out that we don't see they've gone completely over and past them and they don't see them the diggers that is they don't get to see them unless they've got oh there's a button unless they've got someone with them oh it's only half a button we can leave that there half a button is no good to us but yeah ink we will have you along with that little nib that mix just found two perfect finds that looks like a cutthroat razor well the handle i don't think it is that's the handle of a cutthroat razor that would have had the blade on it that would have opened out to do a bit of shaving and then would have closed in on itself I'm not going to keep that because there's nothing i can do with it but interesting little um thing from the past a little cutthroat razor well the handle of one and a bit of a rusty blade but i've just spotted something down there i don't know what it is i've left that doorknob i've decided i don't need it because i've got a few but then when I put it down there, I spotted this here. I can't tell what it is. I, I really don't know, so. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, it's a little face, a little head of some sort of bisque, bisque figure with a little bonnet on, little hat. Oh, look at that. If it wasn't for me putting that doorknob down, I wouldn't have seen it. There you go, a little bisque head, a little face. She's a little gem, what's that blue thing there? Broken glass. Right, oh gosh, it just shows you. <laughs> You're blind, honestly. You could come over here three times and find different things every time. That is a little beauty, a little face there. Little hat. Called me over, so I'm presuming if he's called me over, he's found something. I was just on my way to another hole, like you do. Oh my goodness me. It is windy, windy, windy. Right, I think Mick might have found something for me to see if I can find it. Right, what? Well, where am I looking? Oh, a spoon. Easy, easy spot to that. A spoon. There you go. Another, whoops, another crusty, rusty spoon. As per usual, right next to where I put my bag. I should always have a scour around wherever I put my bag because look, <laughs> that's a blooming glass bottle stopper. Uh, I wouldn't mind it. I walk, I'll put my bag down and walk straight over there to find nothing. Um, but yeah, right next to my bag, a lovely, what's this one? Another gardens. I think the last one I just found was um, a clear one, but that's an apple one. That's a beautiful little find. Never tire of finding these. The glass at bottle stoppers off sources. Right, I just touched this bottle and then I saw that it had some writing on it. So I don't know how big it is. Or broken. Oh no. Oh no, it's not. It's a little little stubby one. What's that then? With a crusty lid, so a little metal lid, but what is on it? That's the interesting thing. Hmm. Right, let's see. Bom bomba. Bomba. B O M B A. Have you heard a burp then? That was Mick in the background. Oh God. Can't take him anywhere. Bomba. Uh, Amru. Oh, I don't know. Amru. Oh, Amru. Oh gosh. So Bomba goes down. B O M and then B A Y. But oh, Bomba. Bombay. <laughs> <laughs> Bombay, the Y makes all the difference. Bombay, right? Bombay. Oh gosh. Hmm. I'm gonna let me wipe it on my, my jeans. Amruta. Amruta. Tanja. I don't know. You're probably all shouting at the screen what that is. Um, I'll get that crusted lid off it. I'm going to take it home just to try and figure out what that is, but Bombay, not Bomber. Good grief. Honestly, sometimes you just can't see what's right in front of your face. Very interesting. I don't know what it is. Even though it's a screw top, it's still an old one. I will um, take that home so I can look it up. Orange on the top there, is it a bead? Oh, 
it's just cut, catching my eye, wherever it's gone. Uh, you got it. Oh, is it not? Oh, is it? All the way from, you know what, I've got rubbish eyesight, but you can spot the colours. That is a bead. That is a little bit, oh, oh, I thought it had blown off then. That is a bead to go with the blue one, or green one, green one that I've just found. Super little find, a little bead. A really good dig around here. Lots and lots of stuff that I'm trying to ignore because I've seen this super ridged jam pot. It's a beauty, but I'm leaving it. Definitely leaving it. There's aqua jars, but I've got a couple. I can't put any more in my bag, so I'm going to leave that for next time. If it's still here, I will bob back and get it next time. Ooh, what's that? What the devil's that? Ooh, it's, I don't know what that is. Virtually complete, apart from that nibbled, nibbled bit at the end, but what is it? That's a bit weird. A bit of a weird find, whatever that is. Not quite sure. Lots of lovely little bottles, aqua bottles, the usual, the usual nice little ones there, little ones there. Let's forget them. Right, we're not going to take them, so no point in having a look at them now. What are you pointing at there, Mick? A head. Oh, right, okay. Oh. <sighs> oh, gosh, sorry, old lady noises. Oh, right, okay, it, she's a nothing, but you know what? Her body is absolutely nothing, but I might break it off. I'm not going to take it. Nobody's going to do anything with it. Might get a stone just to break that bit off and keep the head bit there. That That's worth saving. The rest of it definitely wasn't worth saving. There you go. That's just a bit more usable like that as a head. Just can nibble off the rest of that. Nibble the rest of that little neck bit off there and that's usable as a head. It wasn't usable um, without me chopping that off. Lots of aqua jars. Lovely shaped aqua bottles here, but I'm leaving them. I'm leaving them. I need to... I've, my bag is full of stuff now. A couple of jam pots over there. Let's leave those there. Loads of aqua bottles. Look at that one. Little one. Has that got writing on it? No, it hasn't. Just lots of bubbles. Okay, let's not... We don't need those. Let's not bother with those. More lovely bottles. Leave those for the other larkers. We need small gems now to fit in my bag. Or something different that I haven't got. Any sort of different little finds. Gosh, there's, oh, there's holes all in there as well. How the devil did they get in there? Right, might save that for another day. I'm just going to have a quick look on the surface around here for little tiny gems. I see loads of gem pots down there, but they are not affecting me. I'm not interested. I'm not affected. I'm not thinking about them. I don't want them. Okay. I don't want them. I don't need them. Okay. Oh, gosh, there's a few over here as well. Ugh. Right, don't matter. Doesn't matter, it's not affecting us, is it? Right, we've got another jar. Right, I'm gonna have to, I'll have to leave these here. Next time I come, I shall get these jars. Open the door up. Oops, if I don't smash them. Uh, yeah, next time I come, I'll get more aqua jars if they're still here. And if they're not, it was just meant to be, wasn't it? Just meant to be, right? Jam pots, I'm not even gonna look at them. That's how good I'm being. Be careful here, because I don't want to go hurtling down in towards that, because that looks quite mushy. Okay, but what I will do is I'm going to have a quick glance over here. Something round there, let's have a look. Let's have a look just in case it's something. And it is, in fact, a nothing. I'm going to say there's some sort of ceramic insulator type thing. Something like that, don't know. Worth a look anyway, but no, nothing for us. Oh gosh, lots of aqua jars here, but there's one that's particularly thick which I will be taking. I can't leave it, there's loads. I'll, I'll come back and get aqua jars another time. But this one, I won't be leaving it if it's full because it's a, a lovely, big, thick one. I'm going to have to repack my bag and get that in. But aqua jar, that, and it's got a bottom. So, oh, right, a stand, is it? Oh, right, yeah, I'll, get, I'll, I'll have that stand, mate. Right, I'll just, I'm going to have a look at all these here. Quick, quick look. And I'll get that stand in a second. But we'll just have a look. Just seeing this one here. Has it not got a bottom? No. Oh, you know me and bottoms, right? I always check your bottom. Uh, what's that? What's that spiky thing there? Whoops. What's that spiky thing? Hmm, don't know. Don't know. It's not full. Right, is that an aqua? An, well, not an aqua. An amber square bottle. There. We'll see. Right, let me see if I can get down to it. One sec. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, is that only half of one? Quite excited then. I thought the stoneware was full. Right, let me just try and get down here without killing myself. 
Oh, there we go. That is what I wanted to look at. Oh, no, it's just... Oh, is it, is it amber? Uh, oh, I've got to turn it again. Is it? Oh, it's purple. Oh, the bottle's white. The contents are purple. <laughs> contents are purple. I'd have some sort of purple ink or dye in it or some such thing. I saw that, thought it was full. Just half. <laughs> Ooh. Marble. Is that marble? And it is. Look at that. Very, very orange, that marble, isn't it? It's a good little find. I'm glad I came over this side now. Amber bottle. That's a green one. Ooh. Look at the colour on that. Ooh. Right, the colour on that excites me. I'm going to keep that. Just, just pop this marble in my pocket. Right, okay. Lid. Tiny little lid. I'm going to keep that because it's a little one. Whoops. Not going to keep that lid because it's very hard to find something for that to fit on. That bottle I'm going to keep because of the colour. So that all these aqua bottles are lovely. Really nice. Not for me. Okay. Not for me today. Lots of... One's tumble down there as well. Is that a stopper? Right, I think that's a glass stopper down there. Right, I'll get back to that in a minute. More aqua bottles. Okay, they're all nice. What's that one? Oh, that's a nice one. Love very long neck. That's nice. With the blue colour. I'm not going to keep it. I'm not going to keep it. I can come back and get it another time, can't I? Right, definitely keep those two. Remember, glass stopper down there, I think. I'll just have a quick look on here we found quite a few gems really today actually what's that thing sticking out there is it a... oh it's fungus don't touch it <laughs> i thought it was pottery i think it's some sort of fungus so let's uh don't forget don't don't touch fungus don't touch mushrooms <laughs> you just don't know what they are unless you know what they are of course but i, I haven't the foggiest idea so i won't be touching them it's off i nearly forgot that stopper i thought i'd seen i could see it better from this side of it was around the other side of that tree just remembered Look, jam jars, leaving them. Glass ones, leaving them for next time because I've got no room in my bag. Being good. Let's just get down here because I can see that stopper down here, which I just saw from the other side. There you go. Plain one, don't matter. A nice little find, a little glass stopper. Right, what's that there? That green thing, what is that? I see a stand here that Mick found me. I'll have a look at that in a sec. This green thing here, it's broken, but what was it? Why has it got that in them? Oh, candlestick holder, is it? Oh, but it was, but it had a... The candle went in there, then that back bit went up. What a shame. Gosh, when you see things, you think, what a shame that they aren't complete, because that's... That would have been really nice, that. Probably had a big, like, storm guard at the back of it. Right, anyway, it's, it's broken. We can't do anything about that. Oh, actually, that's broken at the side. So I probably won't take that as a stand. Oh, a what, sorry, Mick? Oh... Oh right, you know what, I've got loads of heads, but you're right there, little sat down child. Oh, it's just missing its head. I'm sure I could put a head on that. Yeah, I will keep that. i say I'll put a head on it, I'll probably never get around to doing it, but <laughs> the thought is there. Right, I'm heading over to this bit up here to have a look at, so you might as well, you're on, you might as well come with me. See what's up here. Right, what have we got? Oh, we've got Panyan. No, no, Lays and Bislid. A Lays and Biz lid. Oh, that's a nice little bottle. Ooh. Oh, it's broken. Broken. Oh, an ear. Got an ear there. That looks like a foot. Oh, uh, two feet. I won't take that. Looks like some sort of um, crestware thing. Crestware stuff. Oh, dear. Busted jug. But an ear, yeah, and a panyan. Um, uh, Lays and Biz lid. Definitely. Nice aqua bottles. Tripped up. Oh, an ink. Well, this is a busted one. I don't need a busted one. Nice little aqua bottles. Look at that big aqua bottle. That's lovely. Not going to keep those. No need. I'll have a quick run down here and then see where we're up to. But yeah, in here, in the lazing biz. Broken cod. Always a pity. But it means there's marbles. Right, we're going to continue wandering around having a good look here. Yeah. Because there's so many holes here. So much. So we're going to continue here. But we're going to say goodbye to you and thank you for joining us. Yeah. And uh, we'll see us all again next week. If not tomorrow on the live, you could pop over and say hello to us. Yeah, see the finds that we found see today. See what finds we've got here because we're on a smaller camera today. So um, yeah. we want to see a great quality of them. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you all again real soon now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.